Alright, so it's September, and that means that it's nearly October, and that means that it's nearly spooky season. And that is probably my favourite season of the year, when everything gets a bit dark. The whole Halloween atmosphere is actually like, in a weird way, very, very nice. And in honour of that, I am going to start getting into the horror spirit a little bit early, and today we're going to watch horror TikToks until I can't take any more, alright? But I mean, it is daytime for me, so I would say I'm pretty exempt from getting scared. I doubt anything is going to really scare me that badly, but we'll see. That's a creepy basement. Is that your house? I'm waiting for the jump scare. Everyone, oh, race. Alright, it was like a split second where my soul kind of left my body, but then we came back and we were like, okay, cool. It's alright. Oh, this insidious song. See, that's fine. That's nothing. Like, someone said it's kind of cute. Exactly. Come on. Gotta do better than that. Like, if you see another person that toss of mitts. To you, run away and hide. Oh, I don't like the way it's like hor so horizontal, just peeking out. <laughs> if I saw that in real life, I probably would shit myself, but... Uh, okay, what is that face? Yo, how does he make these videos? Go wake your brother up. So it's gone again? And then it's gonna just pop up at the end. Or not, okay. And he's actually going towards it as well. You're a braver man than most, sir. Go on, fight it. Well, not in the dark. What are you doing? Okay. Getting the flash on at least. Slow and steady now. Slow and steady. Attics are just as creepy as basements, like. Who would actually go up into their attic, willingly? <sighs> Yo, it's kind of jacked, though. <gasps> This was a huge jump scare. That's not sounding too nice for our sake, but we'll watch anyway. I mean, just like we're not, we're not actually her, right? She's in a way worse position than us. Who are we to get scared? Dude, why is it so tall as well? It looks like Wednesday, but like amplified. She's not real. <sighs> yeah. That'll work. Open your eyes, sure. She'll be gone. Oh, sh oh. Okay, maybe it was just her imagination? But then I thought. Oh! oh no, it is her imagination. But we still saw it. Like, come on. That's still, that's, that's still scaring us. That's probably the best one so far. It's like, I think there's always, when you when you see like scary things, even though it's not real, there's like that split second initially where it's like, oh, it's the jump scare part. And then you can kind of like calm down and go, okay, you know, it's fine. It's not real, who cares, move on. Horror movies you should not Okay. <laughs> oh my God. What is, that's like a sleep paralysis demon. I said I actually had sleep paralysis by the way, cause I've heard some stories and I've never had it, but it doesn't sound too nice. Like, I've heard of stories like this, where it's some just demonic face and then they just, they open their mouth, their mouth's just hanging open. And they're just like screaming, or even if it's just silent, just open mouth, <laughs> looking at them. And they're just there in bed, like they can't do anything. Which I always, I'm just like, can you all just close your eyes? Surely you have that much control just to be like, alright. 
Paris Catacombs Lost Man footage. I've heard about these catacombs. I've never, never been myself, you know, not really a holiday destination of my choice, but <laughs> yeah, it's a popular tourist attraction in France. Dozens of tunnels filled with human bones. So why is this a tourist attraction? Please, someone enlighten me. I mean, if you go on daytime, I'm sure it's great. But this footage was um, the 1990s. A camera that a man dropped. It was discovered by a group of people. It's very bizarre. Oh, wow. This is some OG footage right here. Wait, people actually go here, like in these catacombs. Also, he stops to photograph roofs of bones. And they're just human bones. Like, wh so why? He's filming what he's seeing, what? very deep inside the catacombs. Our family's just like, yeah, let's go on a wee, on a wee day out here. View shot. See some human bones. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden, we hear his breathing get louder and louder. Uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. That's the problem. So this guy's apparently getting chased. I mean, he's running for his life in there. But you're just going deeper and deeper into these catacombs. There's no way out. Unless you find the way out, which is probably past whatever's chasing you. So you're, you're done. <laughs> That's it. He's running faster and faster. Never to be seen again. Deeper, deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden. I like sludge of water. This video camera. Just dropped it. And that's just it. Nothing could have possibly prepared me for that. Right, that was a serious video. So I never would have expected whoever made this or just edited this together to put some random jump scare at the end. But thank you for that. That really woken me up, you know. I'm feeling more alert now. That's good. <laughs> just, just, just hang in there, all right? Just look at it, you know? Embrace it. It's fine. What's it gonna do? Huh?